Papa's jaw. You're sad, right? I am so sad. Why are you sad? Why are you sad? <laughs> but what about him though? What what did you what were you expecting to happen today? Cartel yesterday in the home circuit court of downtown Kingston was denied bail again, much to the disappointment of his hundreds of supporters, more so the home-based supporters in Portmore, the Gaza city. This is captured by the Gleaner, and I read, A group of supporters of Ajija Palmer the famed entertainer known as Vibes Cartel gathered under a mango tree in Walford in Portmore, St. Catherine on Thursday to hear the outcome of Ebas Corpus petition. The petition was filed by Cartel's lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, who sought the release of the artist and two other men with whom he had been convicted. However, their hopes were dashed as the announcement over the radio made it clear it was not to be. There was visible disappointment among the supporters, whose faces fell as they quickly dispersed into cluster of houses in the era known as Gaza City. They refrained from vocalizing their regrets that their era would remain incarcerated. But... Earl Plunkett, a resident, however, openly lashed the legal system, suggesting that it has not been fair to the entertainer whose 2014 murder conviction was quashed in March and the court set to determine whether there would be a retrial. Don't see why they could not grant him bail. He's a sick man and they should let him out so he can attend to his medical issues until the hearing for the retrial. Plunkett told the cleaner, I am very disappointed because I was hoping that I would see the boss. Another supporter who requested to be unknown blamed the Office of Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, arguing that Cartel is fighting a system determined to punish their mistakes. The artist is being punished by the system. The DPP office is calling the shots and they don't want to see him back on the streets. I have no confidence in the system here in Jamaica, the supporter stated. Cartel, Sean Storm, Kaija Jones will remain behind bars pending a five-day hearing scheduled to begin in June 10th to determine if there will be a retrial for the 2011 murder of Clive Lizard Williams, for which they were initially sentenced to life in prison. There are many news items that mainstream media do not carry. I guess because they don't see it as newsworthy. But I care zero. Everyone is worthy to be heard, like the story I'm about to tell you. Sit back, relax, and just listen. First, I will start by saying, to some, it may come across as an embarrassing topic, but flatulence or farting is a natural body function. But this natural gas that passes from our body can be offensive to others around us. And I guess we have all been in a situation where we have no control over nature's gas making its way from our anus and spreading smelly stench in our immediate atmosphere. I believe people who struggle with uncontrollable farting are many times placed in an awkward position. But why must farting be so offensive to others around us that it becomes confrontational and violent to the point where a fight broke out resulting in a young man almost losing his life. Awful and disgraceful as it may sound, that is exactly what happened in the district of Garden Gully, Westmoreland, on May 23rd at a nine-night being kept 
for a prominent senior citizen. This is Mac with Talk channel. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. The allegations are that there was a table with domino players as expected with typical Jamaican dead yard settings and periodically there was a stinking smell of fart rising in the atmosphere around the domino players that causes the men to be holding their noses and echoing similar sentiments of disgust. Then for about 45 minutes, the farting scent subsided and the domino players resumed playing. Then suddenly, out of the blue, the stinking fart scent hits like lightning from the sky. It was more intense than the previous smells. The men playing the domino and the onlookers were irritated and disgusted by the raging stinking smell. Some of the gatherers started scattering and uttering curse words in condemnation of the person who they said was naughty and mannerless. But one man, who was still shuffling the domino, seemed not to be offended by the offensive stench that lingers in the air. He was more on the obesity body build. It makes sense his alias name was Biggs. Now Biggs seemed to be the guilty culprit as he was basking in the polluted scent and didn't seem to be bothered by the frenzy of irritated patrons. In every Jamaican district I know, there's always a loud-mouthed man who always turns scenarios into a gimmick. And that one young man was a 28-year-old man by the name of DJ. In that momentum, DJ turned to Biggs and said, Biggs, get up from around the table, cause I y'all lift your tail for a night, ya man. Look like rat dead up in a you. Biggs continues to shuffle around the dominoes with a slight smirk on his face. Again, DJ said to Biggs, Biggs, go on a toilet, man. You want to mash up Miss Mary dead yard with your rotten goat? If insulting Biggs wasn't enough, DJ went over to Biggs and started grabbing the dominoes from Biggs' hand. To everyone's surprise, Biggs immediately grabbed DJ and gave him one fist, knocking over the table of dominoes. Biggs then pulled a knife from his waist and stabbed DJ in the neck. Blood started spraying from his neck and he was about to stab him again when he was held by some men. DJ was rushed to the hospital where he was treated and admitted. Biggs was subsequently arrested and charged with wounding. Viewers, we are living in a bizarre world where crazy things are happening right around the clock. I bet you all thought Biggs was the one who caused the farting ma'am. It's easy to judge people when they look a particular way. But the fact of this incident was so shocking. Biggs was not the one that was farting on Rapid. It was the mongrel dogs. You see, in preparation for the nine night, the family had plucked a cub of chicken in the day. So the dogs in the yard had feasted upon the intestines of the plucked chickens. So in the night, they were there under the domino table and around the place, farting on rapid. So you see, that was the cause of this old incident. The dogs were actually the culprit. Please remember to share your thoughts in the comment section.